Yo, how's it going everyone? Swag Kage here, and welcome to today's video, where I'll be briefly analyzing a question that I've been asked many, many times. It's a pretty simple one, and it's since Nagato possesses Madara's eyes, why can't he use Madara's Sharingan powers? I've found two possible answers to this. Both explanations rely on similar foundations, but are pretty distinct, so I'll explain each one separately. Before I begin, though, I feel it is worth pointing out that it's possible the reason for Nagato's inability to use the powers of the Sharingan is a mixture of both explanations that I'm about to provide. The first one is that Nagato simply can't can't revert the eye to anything beneath the Renegon because of how implants work in the series. We're already provided with two examples that add legitimacy to this claim, Kakashi and Ao, both of whom possess an implanted Sharingan and Byakugan, respectively. Kakashi has said multiple times that using his Sharingan drains a significant amount of both chakra and stamina while it is kept active, yet he has never chosen to deactivate it at any point in the series. Instead, he covers the eye with his headband, which provides the audience with a clear bit of information. Kakashi can't deactivate his Sharingan. Obviously, this is strange, because every Every member of the Uchiha clan shown using the Sharingan has also displayed the ability to turn it on and off at will, meaning it's very likely that the reason Kakashi can't do the same is because he received the eye through a transplant. Ao is a very similar case, though he does seem to differ a bit from Kakashi in this regard. He keeps his Byakugan covered with an eye patch, but has shown that he's capable of activating and deactivating it at will. He claims that he wears the eye patch, which is laced with his chakra, to keep the eye from being stolen, but it's also possible that the eye patch contains a sealing jutsu that he can use to turn the Byakugan on and off. This is isn't as concrete as in Kakashi's case, but it's still a feasible explanation. Now, as for how all of this applies to Nagato, Madara's Renegon do seem to follow the same rules prohibiting control over the state of the eye by someone who received it through a transplant. After taking one of the Renegon from Nagato's body, Obito never showed that he was capable of reverting the Renegon back to a Sharingan, or of using Madara's Sharingan powers while in possession of the eyes. If Obito, another member of the Uchiha clan, was unable to do so, then it stands to reason that Nagato would also suffer from the same problem. One could argue that Obito never felt the need to use Madara's Mongekyo Sharingan, but as he never even mentioned using one of the abilities in combat, or even acknowledged that doing so might be possible for that matter, I think it's at least worth pointing out. Regardless, this also raises the question, can Madara use his Mongekyo Sharingan powers while his Rinnegan is active? Susano was clearly an exception as he was able to use it without his eyes, but what I'm referring to are his counterparts to Kamui, Sukuyomi, Amaterasu, and so on, since the audience presumably never got to see his unique Mangekyo Sharingan powers in action. It has been argued that Madara's Mangekyo power is actually limbo, and that it's just been enhanced by the power of the Renegon, but that's a completely different issue, and one that I think is worth discussing in a video of its own. One piece of evidence that I found that does support the idea that Madara is incapable of using basic Mangekyo Sharingan powers while his Renegon is active is this manga page here, where he is clearly shown using his regular Mangekyo Sharingan, despite the fact that throughout the entirety of the battle against the Five Kage, Madara kept his Rinnegan active. When he chooses to cast Ocular Genjutsu on the Raikage, though, he reverts the Rinnegan back to a Mangekyo Sharingan. So it's very obvious that this is only something he planned to do temporarily, and that's likely due to the reasons that I've already provided. In the anime, it's much more clear-cut than this, though. You actually see his Rinnegan turn back into the Mangekyo Sharingan before he casts the Genjutsu. So I think that with this in mind, we do have sufficient evidence to at least say it's very likely that Madara can't use his Mangekyo Sharingan powers without reverting the Rinnegan back to the Mangekyo. I can imagine many of you are asking, well, Swag Kage, what about Sasuke? Sasuke can cast a Madarasu from his Rinnegan. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even seem like he's capable of deactivating his Rinnegan, yet he can still use his Mangekyo Sharingan powers, so what gives? And that is a good question, but Sasuke is clearly a special case. His Rinnegan possesses Sharingan Tomoe. It's obviously its own thing, and I don't think that it should be compared at least not too heavily to Madara's Renegon. I do want to bring it back up in just a moment, though. So then, all of this information presented collectively should serve to answer the question posed in the title. Nagato can't use Sharingan powers because, first of all, not even Madara can use his Mangekyo powers without first deactivating his Renegon, and second of all, Nagato can't deactivate the Renegon for the same reasons that Kakashi can't deactivate the Sharingan, and that Obito also can't deactivate the Renegon. There are, of course, a few things that I still need to address, things that I'm sure quite a few of you are still waiting on me to talk about. The first issue is that Nagato didn't always have his Rinnegan activated indefinitely. It first manifested when he witnessed the death of his parents at the hands of some leaf ninja. Then it's implied that he wasn't able to use the powers of the Rinnegan for some time until it manifested once again when he saw his best friend Yahiko in grave danger and in need of assistance. I do think that this issue is a bit of a narrative oversight on Kishimoto's part at the very least 
least I think that he should have provided some sort of explanation at some point in the manga. But given the pieces of lore that the audience has been provided with, I do think that making sense of this is a little bit easier than it might seem. Now the fact that Nagato's Rinnegan wasn't always activated sort of makes it sound ridiculous to say that he's incapable of deactivating it, but it is important to keep one thing in mind, and that is that Nagato didn't really have any say over whether he could turn the Rinnegan on or off in these two instances. It just sort of happened against his will, and it wasn't something that he actively chose to do. At both of these points, Nagato also found himself in the midst of an emotional crisis, which Tobirama explains is what causes the Sharingan to manifest in the first place. Now, this is all a little bit weird because Nagato's situation is very similar to Sasuke's. He witnessed the death of his parents, and Sasuke witnessed the death of, well, both his parents and the rest of his entire family. Sasuke's situation was undeniably worse, especially because the murder was committed by his older brother, somebody he loved dearly. Yet, in Sasuke's case, he only awakened the basic Sharingan, with one Tomoe. Then, on the other hand, Nagato sees his parents die, and then suddenly his eyes just go from base to Renegon. It's really weird. Now, the way that I'm going to try and make sense of this is by saying that the eyes had already reached the state of Renegon before they were implanted, so I guess it does make sense that the power could be called forth through an emotional outburst like this, but there's another issue with that, and that's the fact that Tobirama says that the chakra that generates the Sharingan is produced in the brain. This makes things even more complicated, but I do have a hypothesis for this as well. I'll admit, though, the video is starting to get a little bit ridiculous with all of the guessing and theorizing and hypothesizing, but bear with me, please. What I'm guessing, now this is the only explanation that I can think of, is that the Sharingan, or any Uchiha Dojutsu for that matter, retains the chakra initially used to awaken it somewhere inside the eye, and this chakra is triggered when the brain releases chemicals tied to sadness. Specifically, chemicals intense enough to make a person cry, because the only two times a non-Uchiha has either evolved or awakened a heightened form of the Sharingan are when Kakashi killed Rin and his Sharingan evolved into the Mangekyo Sharingan, and when Nagato saw his parents die, which immediately led him to awaken the Renegon. Now, Kakashi and Nagato both cried Ride here, so I'm guessing that that might have something to do with it, though I think if awakening the Renegon was as easy as just, like, crying, that'd be a little bit dumb, but that's not what I'm getting at here. What I'm saying is that Nagato had no control over whether or when the Renegon showed up in the first place. This means that I can still confidently stand by the idea that because the eyes are transplants, they can't be activated and deactivated at will. I think once the eyes were triggered for the second or maybe the third time, Nagato lost the ability to power them off, and that was the end of that. I think it's also worth pointing out that, like I mentioned earlier, not even Sasuke can deactivate his Renegon, and while that wasn't a transplant, he still received it from an outside source, so that serves to strengthen this idea as well. Now the other issue that I was getting at a few minutes ago, aside from the fact that Nagato's Renegon wasn't always active from the time he received it, is the fact that he can't use the Susano, despite the fact that Madara can use the Susano with his Renegon active, but I think that this is a completely different issue that isn't related to the Renegon at all. Based on how the Susano works and has worked throughout the whole series, I think the ability to use the Susano is unlocked by possessing two Mangekyo Sharingan from a matching set at the same time, but since Madara used his without his eyes, Itachi used his without his Sharingan even activated, and now I guess this doesn't really count because it wasn't part of the manga, it wasn't even part of an anime filler, this is taken from one of the animated shorts that were a part of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, but Shisui was also seen using his Susano with just one Mangekyo Sharingan, so if you take all of this into account, I think the Susano is an ability that a person retains after they unlock it, whether or not they still have access to the Sharingan that they awakened to unlock it, but that's just headcanon, and it's also really, really iffy headcanon at that, because when Sasuke lost his light, his Susano completely disappeared, so I'm not too terribly sure how well this really holds up, but if that is the case, then that would explain why Nagato isn't able to use Madara's Susano despite possessing both of his eyes. It's an ability unique to Madara that only Madara can use, and and even though he unlocked it by acquiring two Mangekyo Sharingan, it's not something that somebody else can use by implanting his Sharingan. Of course, this might lead some of you to ask, well then what about Kakashi? He used the Susano by acquiring Obito's Sharingan. But this is a pretty iffy case too, because Obito never awakened the Susano himself. Kakashi was the first person to awaken it by using both of Obito's Mangekyo Sharingan. This is also a bit eh, because Obito had both of his Mangekyo at the same time, so he should have unlocked 
blocked at first, but ugh. Anyway, I mentioned that there are two possible explanations at the start of the video, and the other one isn't nearly as lengthy as the first. It's just that Nagato didn't know about Madara's Bongekyo powers, and so that's why he wasn't able to use them. And I mean, all things consider, this does make sense. I did mention that not even Obito used Madara's Mangekyo Sharingan, but like I said, that could just be because Obito didn't feel like it, he didn't think it was necessary, but I don't know. I feel like using the Mangekyo Sharingan's Genjutsu may have helped him out in one or two instances. Anyway, I think that about does it for my answer to this question. If you're still confused on anything, let me know in the comments below. I understand I might not have been crystal clear about everything. Heck, even my head hurts a little bit after trying to explain all of this. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's gonna be all from me. Till my next video, talk to you guys later. Swag Kage out. Bye.